Hey guys, welcome back to Kupas Automotive. I'm on site. I decided to go ahead and, and do this video real quick. Uh, I'm on site. This is a 13 F450 Super Duty uh, body. It's a V10 with a 6.8 engine. Issue is that um, the AVP sensor, uh, there's a, a code for correlation. I don't remember the, the code off of hand. It might be 2 P2183. Uh, correlation with DE. Uh, there's an issue. D is APP1, E is APP2, and um, I was already in here before. I did have the scope hooked up. Okay, I, I'm just having it on this way to hopefully grab sound. Um, I had the scope hooked up. I verified that both APP1 and 2 are working. I had output. The thing is, that on scan tool it was not coming up that way uh, however thanks to a prior job that uh, a, a colleague of mine did over in Jersey uh, I, he gave me the hint to go ahead we should go and look in the same uh, area that we had issues with with that vehicle it was another f-series uh, truck pickup truck and the clutch had uh, gone bad or something and it took out the entire radiator and uh, some of the harness and everything and they had done repairs to the harness but possibly missed this or it wasn't back in its original position so this thing seems to have the same thing I'm go underneath and I have a light and it looks like it has some damage from before I'm gonna show you guys hopefully right here where am I at right here because apparently I can't turn the camera around once I have it recording this way there's fresh tape right there okay and I have scan data pulled up sorry about the glare guys I have scan data pulled up See, can we see that? Okay, I flipped the camera around. Now we're underneath. Uh, this is position two. That's position one. That's one and two APP. And the voltages. Now I'm going to go up here. Where are we at with the light? Let's see if we can hook this up. Like so. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pinch this. What up, where are we at? Maybe like that. Can I do this? So all I'm doing is grabbing and pinching right here, like so. And there's my scan data. Come on, focus. Focus, you. Come on. There we go. Boom. Now the voltage is changing. There it spiked up big time. So, just a quick one. I'm gonna go ahead, I'll open up the harness over here. And uh, more than likely my brake is gonna be in here. All right, uh, it's a quickie. Hope you enjoyed it and maybe I'll show the after. Okay, I just cut the harness open and in fact, Looks like it was repaired before. As I was recording, oops, get out of here. Uh, I'll do that. Okay. Dang it. Sorry, too far. But now you can see that it's completely open. Number one. So those two cables were repaired before. But however, as you can see, they weren't heat shrunk like they should have been. They were partially. So, found it, and I'm quite sure that's going to be the issue. Thank you guys for watching, and this is going to be a DeFazio type, new level auto type video. Thanks guys. Alright guys, I just got done repairing the wires. There they are. 
apparently have a better view from over here in the wheel well area. I don't know if you guys can see. Boom. Yeah, it's very sunny out, very hot. Okay. We're going to go ahead and verify the fix. Uh, should everything check? Yes. Okay. All right. That's what I wanted to see. That's correct. 14.9. I want to put it on graph mode because then you can see the dropouts better. So let me see if I can put this in this over here. Something. Yeah, let's see. Okay, let's see. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and watching that guy right there. It was the yellow one for that. No issues. Absolutely beautiful. Just wanted to make sure there was no other issues in this cable, in this harness. So far, that is the only thing. So I'm going to tape this up. Uh, I'm going to use regular electrical tape first, and then I'm going to use some Tessa tape, and then I'm going to install. Christmas tree fastener around it. Oh, where's the camera? Right here. This guy to help hold it back in its spot right there. So that's my plan and all fixed, all good. Beautiful. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, what I'll do also is include the um, the scope captures from the Pico scope. I'll make sure to include the captures uh, with a link to Dropbox or something so you guys can view if wanted if you wanted to.